Well, well, here welcome we are. to the future. The future, the future of podcasting of is here. Guys, the whole show is going to be like this from now on. We have entered a new dimension. Not only a new dimension, a new world. And not only a, a new, new world, dimension. a new life. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Second Life. We are here Whoa. at the beautiful Bumblebee Buzz Public Cinema, which is a some kind of horse stable. It's a horse farm, I think, yeah. It's a horse... Well, not a, f- a horse farm. You don't usually farm horses. Well, I think yeah, it's a but farm. You could call it a farm still. Guys, nobody would be... Uh, maybe only the most annoying person on earth would say, it's actually not a farm, it's a stable. Yeah. Maybe that would be that something does that sound a crazy very, well, person may, would maybe say. Maybe the only most rude person on earth would say that maybe the most annoying person on earth... On earth. Wait, what are you doing, Patrick? I'm just laying down. I'm resting. How do? You, how is it? Wait, what's that horse doing? <laughs> I'm Guys, just laying with my horse. <laughs> Second Life is the most amazing. It's it's better than real life, and it's not even close. Yeah, yeah easily, so easily. Um, what's uh? What's your favorite part about Second Life so far? Our new lives. Probably my horse and the fact that I'm Cameron. Uh, yeah, I like my my wolf body that I was able to find. Mm-hmm. I'm living my life myself. as Cameron now. Which is pretty good. You wish, buddy. I like you my little radio. I think you wish. I mean, look at look at my life in here. Yeah, I got a I horse. Mean, y- you have the confidence to wear an unbuttoned shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I feel like all three of us are able to be exactly who we've always wanted to be. Definitely. Me, I have. Sh- I'm not bald, but I have very short hair. Patrick gets to be Cameron. And, and he Cameron, gets a horse named Bruhaha. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Cameron gets to be some kind of green kind of demon with no genitals. Uh, and Julio yeah, is me. Genitals under the under the fur. I yeah. don't know if you can see Julio here, but he is me, and he is in a steampunk hat with no shirt, and he has a scorpion on his shoulder. <laughs> Which is a fashion accessory you could never wear in the real world. No, you could it not wear work. a scorpion. It would not it's, work at all. It would not work even a little bit, but in Second Life, anything is possible. This Except is for really getting the username you want. Guys, I tried to get my favorite username, and they made me add a bunch of numbers after it. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was already taken. They, Just, you mean, straight you up mean to tell me... Taken? You mean to pervert tell me... Pervert was taken after me pervert 1325673, so... Send me a friend request if you want a werewolf RP. You mean to tell me that pervert one three two five six seven two was taken? <laughs> you mean to I tell me perverts perverts there, one yeah. through <laughs> perverts one through one million three hundred and twenty five thousand six hundred and seventy two were all taken. Yeah. And well, what can I say? It's, it's, it's a popular username on Second Life. Who can say why? Yeah. The the username pervert. <laughs> it has been. Everybody. This. There's been millions of people around the world who sit down to their keyboard to make a Second Life account. And go pervert. Fuck. Pervert one. <laughs> fuck. Pervert two. <laughs> fuck. I uh, I have I been amazed. I just want to see that guy's avatar. I want to see what pervert like one. Pervert looks one. Like. I'll search him up right now. Can you, you can see? look up what pervert one looks like. Yeah, let me find it. I'll just search pervert first. We'll see what pervert looks like. It was yeah. amazing going through the tutorial island, and there was one door that you walk through in the tutorial island, and then you're in some kind of like goth sex club, and some kind uh, of sexual dungeon. Some kind of sexual dungeon, and Patrick or oh. Cameron actually, Cameron fucked me. Really? I oh, I remember that. I did see yeah. that. So I just searched pervert. The first result is pervert family. Julio, why are you are you walking <laughs> and around? The second result is pervert interracial. <laughs> Whoa. That's a guy's name in Second Life? No, I think these are clubs. Oh. I would I join these, these clubs. People. Yeah, interracial perverts club is one you would join. I would join pretty much any any club that would have me. Yeah. Marcus W123, just an average old pervert. Bunch of stuff like this here. You know what we need, guys? Listen, all right. What is what is first life all about? Uh, work, taxes, work, close to eat food, and cl- hamburgers, no, and cheeseburgers. Uh, you're both fucking close as shit. It's about money. 
Yep. So guess what Second Life is about, guys? Linden. Linden rules Lindens. everything around me. Lareem. Okay? <laughs> this Lindens is what are we the money. This is what we care about now, guys. Linden, for those who don't know, is the dollar of the Second Life world. And this shit is ru- is ruling my every waking thought. All I think about is Linden all day and night. How can I get some Linden? I need to get a new I need to get a a, a buzz ball item that I can hand I can put in my hand. How oh, wow. are we gonna make <laughs> Wait, Linden? You, want, you wanna get buzz balls in this game? I want to get I want to download a buzz ball model and put it in my hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah. There's so much stuff about this that's so different from the real world. Like, for example, being able to download things instead of having yeah. to get them. Exactly. I agree. Da- okay, so so a little <laughs> little uh, uh, crash course for people watching. Downloading is the getting <laughs> of Second Life. Uh-huh. How normally you would get something or hold or you download have it something or install Here, it. You would either download or install it, and it usually mm-hmm. is going to cost a couple of. Linden and instead of giving, you upload. Yes. Yes. So now you're getting familiar with the Second Life lingo. Uh huh. I do Instead feel of, like yeah. you know what this is, guys. Us in in Second Life. This is the immigrant story. Yeah. This is this is three people who don't know any of the customs, the cultures, <laughs> coming along. We went through the Sex Ellis Island, the uh-huh. tutorial. We fucked it. You fucked me. You know. Yep. You yeah. asked me to. You well, yeah. I well, I was well, I was atta- I was strapped down to a some kind of device, okay, and you just basically clicked on it. There's and for no all and listen for everyone listening out there who sees what my character looks like, he looked a little different when this happened, okay? Yeah, he my character used to be a little more attractive before. I think his that your character you hit the was wall. a woman. Yeah. <laughs> your character was a woman, and Caleb was a man. My character was a man, but he had wings. I made oh, my character. He was a woman. the default avatar for my character. I loaded up the account pervert one three two five six seven three and Second Life was like, let's go ahead and give this guy bangs, a black suit, and wings. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if if it does it based on your name, this shit nailed my vibe instantly. I have I have a groovy shirt, bell bottom pants, and a radio that I walk around with, and I didn't change a single thing except my haircut. I did a lot to make myself look like Cameron. I think I spent maybe uh, 20 minutes just looking at a photo of Cameron I had as my wallpaper on my computer, and I was just going through the sliders and editing the face and everything. There's sliders on here? Yeah, you can edit that. I shouldn't have told you guys that, because now we're going to yeah, spend I mean, the I'm rest not of the episode. We're in, we're in the throes of it, but man, yeah. I wish... I wish this I had done be... some sliders instead of picking this gay ass normal default skin that's so average. This thing is <laughs> average as fuck. This is the God. average Second Life um, user skin, I think. Yeah. Well, I can't. Yeah, there must be a lot of there. It, for this to be a default skin, there has to be so many people who are logging into Second Life to pretend to be a woman and flirt with other women who are mm. uh, and just be like, I want to be an ugly beast. In my real in my real life, I'm I'm just a normal guy, but I want to be a hideous monster. This in is my uh, life. this is hard mode, mate. You're yeah. you're you're on hard mode trying to have sex in this game, dressed up as this uh, evil character. I don't know. I don't think it's that hard to have sex with a werewolf, another werewolf. Well, he's naked and game. he has no penis. Yeah. So like, people know you don't got nothing down. Again, there, there could be some fur covering some stuff up. You think yeah, the, you think your penis is so okay? So even worse, your penis is so small it can be it can be blocked by one piece of hair. Well, listen, buddy. If much like other my entire body, I'm less of a shower, more of a grower. Okay, I just learned how to lead my horse. So now I'm on the I'm on the same level as you guys now. But watch this. What do you? Whoa! You made him jump. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. You so, really can do things in Second Life that aren't possible in the real world. Like make a like Making lead a, a horse, horse jump. Make yeah. a horse jump. Jump. Uh, make horses a horse are not jump. very obedient normally. No. no, 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 no. What um? So how are we gonna make <laughs> Linden, guys? Because I need this shit. Yeah, I need Linden we need, so we bad. We need some kind of Ed Ed Nettie scam that we can start running on people. 
I would like to sell my body, but uh, unfortunately, I think there's going to be some steps I'm going to have to undertake before then. I think I'm probably going to buy a full body volumetric scanner like they use for CGI movies, and I'm going to scan my entire body in one to one perfectly. Uh huh. And walk around as a perfectly photorealistic avatar. Of myself. Oh, okay. That's. See, I thought that you were saying that you were going to scan your body into this game and then sell yourself as some kind of escort. Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All right. Just making sure. That's what I just said, yeah. That's what I think I might do to make some Linden. I was distracted by my horse. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this uh, this has got to be one of the worst ideas ever in terms of keeping Patrick attended right well in that window the second life window doesn't even have to be open that is true there and you yet, don't even I'm need sure, it you should be just be standing there i'm sure that he is going to keep it open the entire time oh i will yeah. no because i have to look at a powerpoint at some point um uh, yeah i guess another way to make linden would maybe to be to open a restaurant yeah yeah there needs to be uh i i think that one thing i'm going to start investing in pretty soon with maybe even real life Linden is peripherals. I'm going to get some kind of uh, uh, haptic feedback suit to make this experience even better. I think. Yeah. yeah so when when like my horse bucks at you, you'll feel yeah, like when a, your a horse kick. steps on me, I feel the. I've always thought about thought about that with haptic feedback suits. Is it going to be when that when those come out and they're really good? Is it going to be something where you get stabbed and you feel real like actual pain? Is that what people want from those? Probably. That will be true. There will be true. That will be there, true. There the will future. be. There will be true. There will be truth revealed about that being true. I think that that mm-hmm. that that will happen. I mean, what are you going to do? Make it? What you get stabbed and you'd come? I mean, see, that's, that's pretty what, much the that's, only other option for that's a haptic what I, feedback suit. That's what I would do. <laughs> Those are I the guess. two things you could possibly be wearing that, that for. That would be the option. Is I, I would, pl- I would put on the haptic feedback suit, set it to the come only setting, and then go play yeah. chivalry. Ever and just get <laughs> every single and, my, and put my put my open the open mic on, and then just get in sword fights with guys and just yeah. go. Uh, have it said going into my my key bindings for my for my haptic suit and and for my uh my um N64 emulator and setting it so every time Mario jumps it simulates a leg shaking orgasm <laughs> on my body. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, switching I, a few of the settings around. I guess you're right that that why would anybody set it to pain if there is a jizzing option? I would set it to pain once, and then if it wasn't that bad, I would go out and I would be a criminal and I would mug people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. You so know bad. what I would do? I would set it to exactly. pain. Exactly. I'd one be like, time. okay, now I know I can handle this. I'm gonna go try and kill people <laughs> with my <laughs> knife. And if they get the knife and stab me, so what? Yeah, just set do a bunch of pain. Of me. Yeah. Set it to pain one time, and then go to uh, nuclear blast simulator. Yeah. yeah, and see what the fuck happens. Yeah, play one of those car games and just crash a Maserati. God, wall that would be fucking incredible. Would that be? That's got to feel amazing to, to do, do to full have haptic the... feedback and <laughs> jump into a car and just crash it. Two hundred miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you fucking you put on the haptic pain feedback suit and you're playing some you're playing like a fighting game or something, but there's like they released it, they rushed the release and there's a bug in it, so you get punched one time and it simulates all your bones breaking <laughs> constantly <laughs> until you force quit the game. That's what I mean, dude. At some point, they're going to make a haptic feedback suit that is way too strong, and it's going to yeah, like yeah. you're going to do Mortal Kombat fatalities and get decapitated or something. Are they? Who is working on these haptic feedback machines? There's Me, people, mostly. They have haptic feedback gloves for VR. I've seen oh, these. Yeah. yeah, but you've been you've been looking into them like every single day. Pretty much looking at the technology, seeing if it's getting any better. But my fear is always because the 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 big thing with the haptic feedback is like, oh, it'll it'll simulate like holding something, like you like it gives you like resistance when you try to like close your fist on like an apple or something yeah right. but i would just get scared that it would it would somehow think that the apple was as big as a planet and it would bend all my fingers back and break my hand yeah there's a there's it's a very high or a very high risk when it comes to uh like to a glitch 
Yeah. Normally, in a glitch, maybe you'll lo- you'll you'll be upset or you'll yeah, lose oh, a few look, hours of progress. Oh, that's so funny! Look how I have a long arm. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm clipping through life. the wall. I'm stuck in the wall, and then you have your haptic feedback feedback suit on. You're like, <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall. Yeah, you don't I'm want stuck this. In the wall. Yeah. This is a bad time to get a glitch, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think sex. I well, think that we're working on eliminating you, glitches, though. I've heard that. They're trying to stop glitches. I've heard that they're getting rid of glitches. Oh, the, so that's uh, good. That'll change everything. I think that the the that's why they should probably just keep f- uh, haptics to to sex because if it destroys your penis, you're not going to tell anybody. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to be Yeah, like, no, imagine imagine you have the VR headset on and you just use like the va- uh, the haptic succulator 5000 <laughs> and you're like walking right. around like after you're trying to hide it from your 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 wife or your girlfriend, and you're just walking around the apartment, just like, hey, <laughs> oh. <laughs> your cock is broken in half. I think what would wife. probably be the scariest thing is imagine you watched Bowser, you watched Bowser sucks you off VR. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's you just you, airplane directly. You didn't TV. know anything about his jaw strength. <laughs> You, did, you maybe didn't think too hard about the fact he's a dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. I think um I think the scariest scenario is that you put on the haptic feedback suit, you get into second life. Here you are at the tutorial island, you take two wrong turns. Uh-oh, you're in tickle world. Oh my Ooh. god. A oh, haptic tickle. A haptic tickle where there is no escape. You have to unzip that. yourself from the suit to escape this tickle. Yeah. That yeah, would be I guess scary if I was fuck. creating a tickle trap, I would probably make it, though, so that the action of reaching for the zipper would cause unimaginable pain. Or unimaginable tickling. Yeah. You'll have only f- be tickled if you try to take your suit off. Have they figured out maybe some kind of evolutionary reason why tickling is programmed into the human body? Maybe not. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just one of God's mysteries or miracles. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's sexual in nature. Yeah, I, fe- tickling I think tickling is sexual. Unfortunately, Tick- I think it's sexual in nature. Tell that tickling to my brother. Feels like, uh... <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, he doesn't like it very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, never Man. mind then. Don't tell. Don't tell my brother that. <laughs> God, tell that to anybody but my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't tell my heart. brother that, that <laughs> tickling is sexual. Oh, brother. Do you think that Get that it. would change your relationship with your brother if, if you, you had found sex out? with him? Yeah, no. that would probably change it in a massive way. <laughs> yeah, if you found out that tickling is inherently sexual. Well, uh, I, I sure hope not. Because yeah, I, I can, I've like been tickled. It. I think I've been tickled by everybody in this call right now. Really? At some point, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm. Sh- I'm pretty sure that makes sense to me. But I think I'm probably mm. in the top one percent in terms of the ticklish uh, community. I think I'm extremely in terms ticklish. of being ticklish. I'm very, yeah. very ticklish. He which is. makes me also very sexual. I think by. <laughs> Trust me, I know. And I'm a tickler. I tickle Patrick pretty often. You do. Yeah, Patrick is fun to tickle. Well, he's just always just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just made my horse jump so high. Wait, watch this. Julio, you got to you got to watch this really quick. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my God. God. That's the <laughs> highest I've ever seen a horse jump in my life. Yeah, this is in my second life. I yeah. think that the, the horse is going to explode y'all. on impact right now. Nope, didn't work. All right. Well, the metaverse we should, gone uh, crazy, y'all. Is this the metaverse technically? That's the thing. They did all this this is this, the this uh uh the the what it, Horizon Worlds and shit. None of that shit is touching this, man. And yeah. this game's no. 20 years old. And it's goaded. This is actually the metaverse and it's been around for a long time, guys. We don't need we don't need these these work from home fools. People make a living playing this game. Uh huh. Seventy. Yeah, people... I, I looked it up. Seventy. There's seventy million dollars a year that is cashed out from this game. 
Oh my god. By people who yeah. are like who who like uh, You sell stuff. You sell you stuff. Sell. You can be a so landlord. You can be an escort. You can be a landlord. You can sell like clothes. There are shops. People will complain and be like, uh, "The shop I went to, their their interface was horrible." Yeah, and I don't want to alarm you guys, but I'm completely in space right now. Well, you that's okay. high up enough that you're in space. Yes, I am seeing other planets. I think I'm that looking is somewhat at the alarming sky to dome. Me. I'm looking at yeah. a sky dome. Oh, you can rent a sky dome in here. That is crazy. Can I tell you guys something that I did in the real world this weekend that basically demonstrates why Second Life is superior? Yeah. Why? So, this weekend, I went to Coney Island to the amusement park. Okay. Um, me and my fiance, we are riding a bunch of all the rides, and we're having a rather f- lot of fun on them, spinning around and twirling and riding That's up excellent. and down. Uh, which sounds great, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we get on this one ride at the end. Well, we're waiting in line for this one ride, and this little girl comes up to my fiance and starts just talking to her and being like, "Have you guys been on this this ride before? This ride's awesome." Oh, I just went and she just like wouldn't stop talking, and then she was like, she like started singing. She just went like la 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 la, and then she said, "My name is Harmony, and I'm gonna be a singer." And then she followed us onto the ride, and she asked to sit with us. Um, and my fiance was like, okay, sure. And then we got on the ride and it spun around and swung around rather fast. And me and my fiance both felt that we were going to completely throw up and puke all over this little girl. And did you do it? We just were literally genuinely so close to both throwing up onto this (laughs) small child (laughs) who was completely alone. She would have never sang again, man. No, it would have completely ruined her entire fun at Coney Island. If I had been in Second Life, I would never have gotten sick. I would have just been having fun. And instead of a small 10-year-old child approaching us, it probably would have been a 50-year-old man who I would have had a lot in common with to talk about topics with. You could have talked think? about movies. There's no kids allowed in this damn game. It's 18 plus, y'all. Exactly. What would a puke in a haptic feedback suit feel like? I if was you thinking, were see, that's what on. I would probably what amazing. Me think well, that's about why it. you you don't just need the outside for a haptic feedback suit. It needs to be a balloon that you <laughs> swallow. You know what? Now that I think about it, it should just be a body. <laughs> It, it yeah. should be a robot yeah. body that your soul goes into. Yeah, this is making way more sense than just the outs because uh, the outside's only half the story when it comes yeah. to living. Less than half, maybe. You need some kind of haptic feedback tube that goes through your all of your intestines, through your stomach, one that sits in your heart. You need a coating around every single organ for it to be a true haptic feedback suit. Well, couldn't yeah. that just like... Couldn't that be, I mean, just kind of like an exoskeleton? No, you need, an, like you need an endoskeleton. Like, uh, an endoskeleton? Okay. You need a skeleton. I was thinking, in, I was imagining an exoskeleton that has, you know, different, like, uh, tubes for different orifices, you know, like uh, like little, like, things for your eyes, maybe something that goes in your butt, your urethra, your ear You need to be able to bite your holes. fingernails. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's life. true. Yeah, you need to be, be able. Good. The suit needs to be able to simulate you biting your fingernails, and also your fingernails getting shorter when you yeah. bite them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and gradually growing back. It needs to really cover everything, or else what's the point? So I guess oh you're right. God. It should just be a robot. Guys, okay. Cameron just it. became a girl. Wait, what? Look just playing that. around with my avatar. So just another thing you can do in Second Life. No big deal. Well, oh uh, Jubia, do you have my slides up? I'll take Why are you that sitting as over a, there now? Is a amazing. Um, I uh, sp- you were talking about prostitution being an, an escort earlier, Cameron. Oh yeah. Oh wait, actually, I don't. This is that's that comes later. First of all, <laughs> guys, the so the the community in this in this I wouldn't even call it a game. It, the community in this world is very uh, is very strong, but what is what breaks down communities in first life? The rumor in fighting. weed. The rumor weed, guys. Yes. The rumor weed is a disgusting weed that we need to get rid of. But there is a website called Virtual Secrets on which people share the juiciest, 
of Second Life Gossip, and I want to show this to you guys. This is Virtual Secrets is one of the most highly debated topics in the Second Life community, at least for a percentage of users that read slash participate in blogging within the community. Secrets are submitted to the website anonymously and are posted by the moderator. There is no fact-checking. Not that Whoa. not that different from the real world, if you ask me. Consider this website a digital supermarket tabloid for virtual worlds. In fancy terms, secrets are user-generated content submitted for a moderator to post without checking details. In this 2008, is this is TMZ. In 2008, Virtual <laughs> Secrets started and, and has become one of the most popular gossip, rag, slam book style, st- style sites about Second Life. If you don't like what you see here, you can close the browser. Holy shit, that's some Tyler the Creator shit. Lords, yeah. you are forever my girl. I will miss you, which I'm guessing is one of these two beautiful women at the bottom of the page. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I I'm show guessing you, it's the one at the bottom. I want to show you guys some of these some of these. Uh, Gossip slash rag slash slash uh, slam book style slams. Number eleven. This is from the most recent week. This is a meme, and it's two buttons. One says "Take one for the team," and the other says "Fuck Emily at the villa, or we all get banned." And then the guy, the sweating guy, says she has a bigger cock than me. So this is a, I guess, some kind of uh, situation that's going on this week in Second Life at the villa with Emily. Because there's a bunch of these these posts about Emily. This next one is Bernie Sanders, and it says, The real Emily from the villa. And it's Bernie Sanders saying, I am once again asking, fuck me or I ban you and your friends. And then okay. uh, this one is the the exit, the, the car veering through the exit photo. Uh-huh. And going straight is, but don't tell my boyfriend, okay? The exit is, fuck me or I ban you and your friends. And the car is me running from Emily at the villa. <laughs> I'm not sure so, I can even process yeah, this one. This one seems like it was created wrong because wouldn't they be I mean, running these, towards... These are, not meme, these are not meme professional meme makers, man. These are just no, people trying to do slam books. Uh-huh. Well, uh, they, I think this one is a whiff. This one is a little bit of a whiff. But this next one, guys, this one's good. This is fuck Emily or draw 25, and then every guy at the villa has a bunch of Uno cards. Um, the villa, man. So I think that we need to go check out the villa at some yeah, point. Yeah, we got to check out the villa. Because I want to I wanna meet this Emily. Maybe we get an exclusive interview or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll have her on to defend her, her uh, honor. This is So apparently people in Second Life make Facebook profiles for the, not themselves, but for their characters. Their alter egos. And this is Josh Died, who made a post that says, People when it's black power and a smiling guy. People when it's white power and a raging guy. I find it very interesting how you guys like to give creators the benefit of the doubt when they are being racist. But when a creator makes a mistake on a product, y'all go on a crusade. Maybe because throwing racism around at the drop of a hat subtracts from and is an insult to actual instances of racism. If you're okay with one race empowering themselves, showing pride, etc., and not another, and leap to associate only one with racism, then congratulations, you are the problem. You have prejudice in your heart. So, guys, there is... This is... A lot of people think that they could go to Second Life to escape this racial world. It's not going to work, buddy. It's racial in here, too. It's just as, if not more racial, in this second life. That's insane. Sarah Mercury from WAP, (laughs) whiny-ass pig. Bitch, you ain't no Barbie. I see you work at Arby's. One big room full of fat bitches. Bullying is never okay unless it's me doing it behind your back. And there is (laughs) a seat that says, pig, bitch, big farts. (laughs) This is is completely an Instagram-style meme. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's a a parody of Crayashan's Gucci Gucci in there, uh, and then what? Who who is Sarah from Mercury WAP or Sarah Mercury? What is WAP? I'm I want to go. I want to know this all this world. stuff. I'm guessing this is one of these worlds. But uh-huh. WAP, I what guess, stands pussy, for what, is what whiny, I heard that stands whiny for. Whiny ass pig is what it. See, that's what it stands for in first life. In second life, yeah. this is whiny ass pig. <laughs> I honestly, and that's maybe the one thing where I like First Life better than the Second Life. Same. Damn, Cam. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> and then I think this is the last gossip one. This is uh, a picture of a, ch- of a child <laughs> named Bub- Bubbles Blip. <laughs> <And it's laughs> 
<laughs> it says, <laughs> Bubbles Blep. It says, what did she even do to everyone to make them hate her so much? Genuinely curious. It seems like she has the whole of all Second Life communities backing her up. People in the last Virtual Secret said she did stuff, but what did she do exactly? So apparently Bubbles Blep is the center of some kind of massive controversy right now. And uh, I I can't imagine being mad at this. This is just a little ass kid. What could this kid possibly be doing? Yeah, it's Bubbles Blip. How could you be mad at some, at a kid named Bubbles, <laughs> at, man? At, at Bubbles Bubbles Blip. Bubbles what a Blip. Name. Bubbles Blip. Uh so you were talking about escort escorting earlier and being a prostitute as a yes. as a way to make Linden. So I found this website called Second Life Adventures. I think it's a blog spot, and it's this Whoa. woman, Caroline Takeda. Caroline Takeda is a well-known name in the virtual world of Second Life. She is a blogger, porn producer, and escort girl who has made a name for herself in this virtual world. Okay, so let's read about some of her adventures. She has a guide to doing escorting in Second Life. Uh, and I was looking through it, and it has just like some examples of some work she does. How to make money as an escort girl in Second Life, updated June 2022. You are thinking Whoa. about a career as an escort girl in Second Life? Then you should read this post. It gives you an insight into what you can expect working in this profession. This is uh, one of her stories. Caroline, sorry to bother you. I'm a big fan and would love to discuss some escort services with you whenever you're available. This is Kevin, and Kevin has nothing in common with George at all. The thing, the title is uh, Not Every Client is George Clooney. So she's, she's saying this guy has nothing in common with Mr. Salt and Pepper. He did okay. not even want to look like the pretty and famous. Instead, he created an avatar that resembles pretty much the type he is in real life. The result is a heavily overweight guy. I really enjoyed reading about all your adventures on the blog. It's super hot. The fact that you escort me and that I have the opportunity to be with you makes it even hotter. I just like the whole experience in general. In fact, I get most of my clients either via this blog or via my profile on our escort website. Kevin booked me for an hour. He actually considers himself a groupie. I like that. So here's a photo of him and of her and Kevin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have I have censored it. Uh, this is this is an example of a standard sex job. This is I'm guessing as fat as you can possibly make your character in second no, life. No, no, you can walking make around. I've no, not seen pretty anybody, crazy with it. I've not seen anybody have this kind of body. But uh, the uncensored photo, he has a he has a bright pink little tiny cock, and she is. She's holding it. And there's that a lot is more incredible. photos from this from this engagement. Uh, and I would really like really quickly like to say so her services cost a thousand Linden an hour. Okay. okay. What's Whoa. that in real okay, life wait, dollars? How much is how much is so real life dollars I, into Linden? I looked it up. A thousand Linden is three dollars. So for three dollars an hour, she <laughs> has sex with the with uh, guys that don't look exactly like George Clooney. Hmm, uh, right. Here, here's another one. One of my regular clients is very imaginative and a bit of a pervert. Maybe Every time it's he Cameron's hires me, rival here. You Sorry think this is? Cam oh, it could be pervert one. It could be. Pervert Every one. time he hires me, he comes up with another kinky thing to do. For some of his dirty fantasies, it would be rather difficult to find a non-professional partner. That's a job for, for a professional sex worker. The last time I met him, he made me kneel in a dirty stall of a pigsty. I sat right between a couple of pigs to serve him as a dirty sex toy. I had a long shower after that one. And let's look at a photo from this experience. Sex in a pigsty. <laughs> Fucked in a pigsty. So this is... She's having... But the pigs she, are there. There's she's pigs. for the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's having uh, sex in front of a bunch of pigs, and also there's a guy in the back. I I had I caught this. I was censoring this photo, and I caught this at the last second. There's a guy just laying on a bale of hay with a beer, and he had his cock out. <laughs> so I this guy, I guess this is some the guy kind just, of just chilling and watching. I guess he's just chilling. Yeah, there's no you know you don't have to wear clothes in this. That's yeah. sex in a pig's Oh, it's not the real world. And then this is, I think, my favorite thing I've found uh, on her website. This is the fucking rat. 
ever had sex with Whoa. a furry in Second Life. And the so fucking rat. for the audio listeners, this is a photo of a, a kind of a brooding rat wearing a a leather jacket, jeans, and some boots at a what looks to be a cafe or a restaurant. And he's kind of looking mysterious. The chair is too big. It's not it's not made for a rat. This is a human chair. Uh and so this guy, this is not somebody paying to have sex with uh, Mrs. Makeda, this or Takeda, Caroline. This is a uh, somebody who is trying to become an escort. Okay. Oh. Do you want to do the rat? A question I received from the Sleen. This is her. That's her partner. The Sleen. The what Sleen. Rat? What the hell are you talking about? Apparently, we received an escort application via the form on the website. From a furry portraying a rat human hybrid, a male rat, which is why the Sleen didn't want to conduct the interview. The Sleen is is male. Uh-huh. Come on, I said. You have experience with half humans. Remember Felmane, which goes to a four oh four so yeah. this has been a this is a deleted page. He replied, She was a half cat and a hot teenager in real life. <laughs> that is <laughs> okay. the uh, oh. that is the opposite of a male rat, don't you think so? All right, I did the interview. I met him at the reception area in the office. Casually dresses in jeans, simple top, and my favorite boots. Nothing too sexy, just like the girl next door. (laughs) The male fucking rat was dressed like the girl next door. (laughs) (laughs) I wanted to make sure to create a strictly professional, non-sexual impression. Didn't want him to think about sex with me at all. No, I don't do rats. Call me rodent-phobic, but no. The rat was very pleasant to talk to. I learned quite a bit about the furry communities that day. Yes, they do have sex as well. Apparently, it's quite a thing. Maybe we discovered a niche here. So now she's interested. I invited him to the Sky apartment after a bit. No, not for sex. Just for a bit more relaxed, less cold ambiance, continuing over to our talk over a bottle of wine. And then this is a photo of her having wine with the rat. And it's wow. called, uh, the, I cropped the caption out, but it's called, Nothing wrong with a glass of wine, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I bet one thing led to another, doesn't it? Well, you'll see here pretty soon. He did raise the question, though. Isn't it the Selene who typically does the interviews and casting? Are you doing it because I'm a male? The Selene. The Selene. Are you doing it because I am male? Yes, that's why, I replied. Are going to do the audition with me then? He continued. I noticed from our conversation, you know what you're doing. When it comes to emoting and role play, you are doing very well at that. And honestly, it would feel a bit weird to have sex with a half rat, I replied. Caroline, you are seen by many as the princess of sex in Second Life. Shouldn't you have tried everything at least once to maintain that reputation? He did have a point there. I will think about it, I promised. Most importantly, get me some text and some nice pictures over so I can put you on the website. That is incredible half rat riz. If there was if a yeah. half rat man walked up to you in a bar and he was hitting on you and you're like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. This is... And he was like, shouldn't you try it? At le- Don't you want to try fucking a half rat at least once? <laughs> a male the, rat? <laughs> that only works in the second life. The first life, no, almost no women would have sex with a, a half rat. No. Very <laughs> small few, percentage of the community of women. A few days later. Caroline, that sofa you wrote about as Michelle, the ruckus let's smash couch one, they released a bed now, which is even better than the sofa. I bought one for my own apartment. This is from the rat. That sparked my curiosity. Mind sending me a taxi? Would like to see that, actually, I asked. Which, by the way, you can fly in this game. (laughs) And you can teleport in this game. But she is taking a taxi. Well, you gotta, it's later. called it's stimulating the economy, you know? You gotta, I guess you're right. Exactly. The, the taxi drivers got to make their lindens, oh, too. God. Yeah. I can't they imagine. Make if their if lindens. a prostitute is making three bucks an hour, I can't imagine <laughs> what a fucking taxi driver makes in this game. <laughs> Seconds later, I was standing in his apartment. Very different p- place, really. It was, wa- it was on one of the upper floors of a building providing living space to furries. In fact, the entire region was offering a place to live for the furry community. There must be quite a big community when they build entire regions for them. The apartment as such reminded me at 80s architecture. Very colorful, nicely decorated and spacious, featuring living room, bathroom, a kitchen, and of course, a bedroom for sex fun. That's where I guess that's... That is interesting. I never, I never thought about it before, but in Second Life, really, the only reason you do need a bedroom is for sex. Yeah, Yeah, you're not sleeping. 
Yeah, it's only it's only a sex room. Well, she does have another a segment on this website called AFK Sex, which I guess is you can you can like when you go away or like log off, you can put your character in a sex position with another person, which is oh, pretty okay. awesome. Also, apparently a big problem cool. is that people make alts and play on like two different windows and uh, pretend that they are like actually pulling and like having sex with people, oh, but they're shit. they're having sex with themselves, uh, which is a big problem if you look into virtual secrets, guys. A lot of gossip about this. That's wow. crazy. Anyway, that's where he had placed his new ruckus let smash bed <laughs> he sat on the bed and explained some features such as many more cuddle animations than the sofa actually has okay let's test them i want to see the different animations i heard myself saying and added quickly this does not count as having sex this is just testing the bed a strictly technical thing i took of my cloth and joined him on the bed i noticed i made his tail twitch a little he couldn't hide a little excitement he could hide it. He's using he the hide computer. It. He had to click <laughs> he could Twitch hide, tail. Yeah. He had to click on a button that says Twitch my tail. We went through the menu, pose by pose, to see what they're like. He couldn't resist some sex talk and role play in between. Nor could I. The habit, I guess. Here's some examples. Guys, here's some examples of the ruckus <laughs> let's smash bed with the rat. Okay, you ready? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So and they're just testing the bed. And this is not <laughs> sexual at all. No, uh, technical. This 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 rat, by the way, this is I've censored these photos. This rat has a huge white dick, <laughs> a giant white penis coming out of this rat's body, and he is taking. He is making. Uh, Caroline's having one of the best nights of her life. Depend. I mean, yeah. looking at these photos, um, she's fucking this rat, y'all. Mm-hmm. And then this is a photo that is captioned getting fucked by the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yes. It was fun looking at the rat mounting me, fucking me, and getting all excited about it, and even ending in real life climax. No, it did not excite me sexually or arouse <laughs> me. I can certainly say it is not my thing, but at least I tried it once. I can say now I got fucked by a rat. <laughs> Jesus. So wow. that's an amazing story from that Caroline, guys. That is such guys. an inspiring and wonderful story for all the rats of the world. Yeah. If you're a rat, rats, it's buddy, possible. This is in your this is in your future. Yeah. Um, here, let me pull mine up. Am here. I going next or oh, okay? Uh, or actually, let me put it in slideshow mode. Okay. Oh gosh, is this working? Can you see a blank white screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's what I found today. Uh, so first of all here's just one guy i found who had a bunch of posts but um i just threw this in here this is clive Steele. is on the second life forums uh he says to all the sick and he has his thing is that he does a bunch of italics and different fonts and boldings and and colors of text he likes to really spruce up his his posts here uh Mm -hmm. to all the sick twisted haters who've tried to make my life miserable on second life since 2010 I have a hot girlfriend, and you can't knock me down. Where's your laughs, in parentheses, girlfriend, oh, keyboard warrior? Losers, RFLMAO. And then it's a picture of it looks like um, one of the twins from The Matrix Without the Dreads uh, riding a motorcycle behind a woman who has a very low-cut shirt and big things. Yeah, Um, that looks like Eminem, dude. Yeah, it does look like Eminem wearing Matrix glasses in the in a Matrix robe. I I, did, I just really liked that he was. I liked he's riding behind the girl <laughs> instead of in front of her. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> uh, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> um, and then someone replied to him and said, "How much did she cost?" And he said. How about you PM me your address and we take it from there? Oh, Cowardly calf. Snap. And then a fist oh, emoji. Shit. I just thought cowardly calf went crazy. That is cowardly calf. Incredible. Um, here's a post. Uh, most discriminated against group of avatars. This is by female Winslet. Uh, and female Winslet says, furry hate is pretty legendary in second life. And I've always assumed that furries were probably the most hated and discriminated against group in second life. But recently I have wondered if that is true thoughts on who it might be and why 
Um, and then a bunch of people had different ideas besides furries on who was the most hated group of people in Second mm-hmm. Life. And there's a bunch of groups of people in Second Life I didn't even know existed. Um, so we got, of course, balloon pilots. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, there's so many of these that I just don't understand what it could possibly mean. Yeah. But Anna Nova says, balloon pilots, you wouldn't believe how many ban lines and worse still, zero delay security orbs there are. I think anything that has a range more than 100 meters should be banned by the TOS to react faster than 10 seconds. I have no clue what that could possibly mean, but this person thinks balloon pilots are very discriminated against um, in Second Life. We also have vampires. No biting signs in many public areas are one thing, but often this extends to no insert brand name vampires. You will be st- you will be staked. I've managed to avoid becoming a vampire <laughs> despite my home RP sim seemingly morphing into a vampire RP place, but hold no ill will towards vampires and have only rarely encountered rude ones who try to bite random people. Um, it's so funny to me that this person is running a, a home roleplay simulator and it just gets invaded. By <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't fucking yeah, stop just running into so these hard not vampires. to become a vampire. Oh God. Well, also good on him for for not giving into the hate there. Dude, yeah, he's yeah. like, no, it, these are good, hardworking people. Yeah, even they're just though vampires. they're invading my my random RP and trying yeah. to bite me. It is so fucking funny that you could be like, I want to join Second Life. I want to I want to role play. I want to be I want to be the owner of a Seven Eleven. I want to run a Seven Eleven. And somebody else's fantasy can just completely encroach on yours and be like, We're a bunch of werewolves and we're gonna come <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> while you're working at your job. Yeah, it does seem like the entire the entire game. If if you can just be a vampire in anything, then the entire game is a vampire RP. Yeah, yeah. it is. And vampires are one of the default options for avatars. I noticed. Um, here's another one. I am an elf and run two sims and a store of my own, and I am also a guard on two other sims. Most people we have ever had to ban have been human avatars. In fact, I would go so far as to say that 95% of those who incur a ban are human avatars. But we do not ban humans. Just because one or two of an avatar type may do something wrong does not mean they all need to be banned. Judge the individual, not the whole type. So this is a rare example um, of a non-racist elf. Wow. An elf who doesn't want to ban all humans. Do you, are are most nice Second Life elves racist? Is that why you're saying I have no that, idea, or? but it. Uh, I just said that. Okay. But it seems like maybe they are to me. Yeah. Um, the latest folks to be discriminated against in Second Life are flyers. Y'all flyers have been discriminated against True, recently. we almost got you. banned from this yeah. server for flying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am now getting booted for many sims because I'm in fly mode when I TP in and I don't land fast enough. That's the, yeah, flyers should not be discriminated against. Mm-hmm. That's not right. Um, this t- so this isn't a group of people who got discriminated against, but this is a little. Every forum thread in Second Life completely derails into an insane argument that I don't understand at all for like at least one full page. Mm-hmm. And the results are always so insane. I read another, I didn't put this part in, but another thread I was reading just randomly became. Uh, an argument about whether Islam is an okay religion. <laughs> and it was like, it was like a thread that was like, "What are you eating today?" <laughs> um, but this this argument that came into this thread was so somebody said, "I would expect an officer of a role play sim would be better in drawing the line between in character and out of character." But then again, you said you were just officer because of personal relations, so whatever. And then this person replied and said. I find that many people in Second Life take their RP way too seriously. When I tell people I don't RP, they go, but, 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 Second Life is all RP. In the demon RP sim, there was a rule that no one was allowed to play with a demon's private pet. If someone asked me if it was okay to play with a demon's private pet, I'd say, well, it's against the rules, but if you can find a willing pet, go for it. It was none of my concern if they wanted to incur the wrath of a demon. That would actually make for a better RP experience than just following the rule. Then, if the demon came back to me, I'd tell him it wasn't my problem if he couldn't keep his or her pets in line. So there was basically a giant argument in this thread about whether it should be allowed to uh, play with a demon's private pet and what officers should do about it. (laughs) This Sayo Emerald person is somebody that I I kept seeing a lot on the forums. It's a lot of of, uh, people who who are very active. A lot of people post a lot of stuff. It's incredible. then another more another discriminated against group of people. Soda gnome says gnomes are pretty discriminated <laughs> against. <laughs> uh, I really love soda gnome. <laughs> no extra details. Soda gnome. Gnomes are pretty discriminated against. Um, 
Do you primarily use a human avatar by Gopi Passiflora? Uh, Moira Kathleen says, I'm primarily human. Once in a while, maybe a couple of times a year, I'll go around as a dinky for a week or two. <laughs> is that I a googled dinky? what a dinky is, and it's a little anthropomorphic cat. And this is one of the first <laughs> results on Google. Dinky's Navi avatar. Um, and to use this Navi dinky avatar, you need the dinky kitty avatar. Okay. So don't be trying to use the Navi without the dinky yeah, kitty. Yeah, you need yeah, the dinky. Yeah. There's if levels think, to this shit. If you but think it seems like dinkies are pretty dinky, popular right now. Yeah. What do you say? If you think you don't need a dinky, buddy, you better do some. You got another thinky. thing coming. Is yep. there a chic- is there an O block RP <laughs> on here? <laughs> like there is in Roblox? I ha- I did but I didn't put some in, but there were people complaining about people acting gangster. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Wait, that's about to be me. Yeah. I'm about yeah. to tear this shit up. Um No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? <laughs> <laughs> this no, what are you talking about? Uh, when they asked, a frog. When they asked, do you use primarily use human avatar? Rick Nightingale said, nope, primarily a frog now. Occasional frog. And then this picture, which if you're listening on audio, just tune in for just one second to look at this picture because it's, uh, it's really hard. It's a muscular green <laughs> man who looks like he has... His skin looks like the floor at like an arcade. Like it's got those little like yeah. glittery speckles in it. And he's sticking out a green tongue, and he's eating a fairy. <laughs> and he's, I would oh say, posed God. like a frog, but he's not arching quite. his back. Kind he's of. not a frog. <laughs> no, he's not a frog. Well, he's on a lily pad. He's on and a There's lily a bunch pad, of normal yeah. frogs next to him. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is a crazy picture, and there's women flying away from him and trying to oh get away. Oh God. <laughs> that is incredible. And he has a mohawk too. <laughs> yeah. He's the only frog I've ever seen with a mohawk. <laughs> what a frog. Yeah. Um. And then Soda Gnome is back. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely contextless. Uh, out of nowhere, he says, As a gnome, I've never found an attractive female gnome in Second Life, so I am pursu- pursuing a relationship with a human at the moment. Wow. And here in this picture, you can better see no- Soda Gnome's full outfit. <laughs> which is <laughs> he's, got a, <laughs> he's got a he's gnome got from the waist up only. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. A no- he's got a classic garden gnome head with the beard, kind of a, a cone hat pulled down over his eyes. His shirt is a f- all over print of a lion. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's wearing He's wearing red gloves and red tights, little black Patagonia baggy type shorts, and then he's got some converse. On. <laughs> and oh he's with God. a woman with an onion ass. Yeah. yeah. He's with a big ass. He, he pulled woman. a baddie. And it looks he like did. he might be in Japan. <laughs> 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 He'd be popping soda bottles and he got bitches in yeah. Japan. Yeah. Soda gnome. Soda gnome. So just keep just remember soda gnome. He's gonna be coming back periodically. I fucking hope he is. He is in every yeah. single thread on this website. He's <laughs> talking about being a gnome. Um need ideas for a male punk Avi. I'm thinking of using Johnny Rotten of the Sex Pistols and his prime as a possible influence. I know my punk dude will have a mohawk and a black vest of some sort. What other necessities does the punk aesthetic have? And Soda Gnome says, I made a Johnny Rotten who is 600 years old and a gnome. <laughs> Why is he and at 7-Eleven? <laughs> this is a gnome who's at 7-Eleven wearing full rainbow <laughs> clothing and has a rainbow mohawk that's about the height of his body. And it's also poking out of his hat. He still has oh a hat. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, that is incredible. That's Soda Gnome 600-year-old Johnny Rotten. <laughs> Uh, how does your second life look today? I'm starting this thread so we can post pics of absolutely anything we like in second life. A rock, a set of stairs, our homes, your nose, whatever. I'm starting it with a couple of pics from the island as it is now. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a little picture heavy, but I'll paint a picture. With, I'll describe this is from these Bagnew. for everyone. And this is from Bagnew. Uh, Soda Gnome. <laughs> Soda Gnome says, The Rainbow Gnome, a new superhero is born. And it's his same rainbow Johnny Rotten gnome, but he's flying through the clouds. <laughs> uh, then we have, Do gay or bi women outnumber straight women in Second Life? A question asked by Sam's Byron. Uh, someone said, Beth Quander says, Women running male avies are way better lovers than most guys. And Soda Gnome says, Not gnome males. <laughs> Damn, Soda Gnome getting after it. Yeah. yeah. He, he can't gnome, find a dude. female gnome, though. He has to date humans. He's got to be the biggest celebrity in Second Life. Yeah, I did find another thread where people are like, 
uh, soda gnome sighting. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, we need to add. Uh, him. Yeah. What are you doing today? The, okay, this is the this is the uh, I think this is the one that's kind of picture heavy by Kasumi Ravenheart. Zane- Zanessa <laughs> posts <laughs> Sunday morning cartoons, and it's a woman in in pajama, very revealing pajamas, yeah. leaning back on a a pillow. She in a beautiful living room with a gigantic, probably 200-inch TV on the wall, and she's watching Family Guy on the Fox website yep. <laughs> on her TV. Wow. It's so funny to imagine. Well, first of all, watching Family Guy for fun, for Sunday morning cartoons, but then also having a giant ass TV, and instead of just watching a show, you pull it up on a website <laughs> <laughs> on the TV. Um, so here's Vanessa again. Back in her living room, watching classics. Oh. She's watching I Love Lucy, I think, on her TV. Mm. Um, she just that, likes TV. She likes Family Guy and the classics. I Love Lucy. I can tell Beautiful you. Beautiful modern home, too. I know. Yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, look at the wall. Wow. That's exactly the kind of wall you want in a house. Is a, oh, is yeah. a rugged, to live there. outdoor type of stone wall you might see in a garden. Zanessa, uh, if you're Zanessa, listening but, to this. But it's, an, it's, it's not all fun and games for Zanessa. Sometimes there's work to be done. And here Whoa. she is alone in a meeting room, and she's working on a website called Estequile Virtual, and it looks like she's working hard on her laptop. Maybe she's some kind of real estate agent. It seems like that could be the case, yeah. Zanessa, uh, if you're listening to this, please add Cameron Fetter on <laughs> on Second Life. He can yeah. show you the world. Zanessa, uh, you're going to like him a lot. You're gonna. He's going to take you out of this <laughs> the hustle um, and bustle of the workforce. You're going to watch cartoons so, all day, baby girl. <laughs> this thread is like hundreds of pages long and most of it is exactly like like people this like people with women avatars who are wearing bikinis and they're just doing mm-hmm. mundane everyday stuff with their yeah. kids out it's pretty crazy but it's also stuff like orwar who posts <laughs> just sitting in my living room listening to the sparkling of the fireplace the ticking and chiming of my clock and the soft music of the harpsichord playing away wow <laughs> <laughs> and it's in a room that's almost completely pitch black. You can just see him sitting in a very ornate chair next to a gramophone. <laughs> <laughs> He's there yeah. Does he have a fucking gramophone? <laughs> this is, this is kind of scary. I don't think yeah. I would want to join this guy. No. no. He's a carnivore. He's a, yeah, it's a, his concupiscent carnivore is his yeah. little bio. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't I want just anything lo- to I do with Orwar. The sparkling of the fireplace and the, listening to the ticking and chiming of my <laughs> clock. <laughs> You don't get stuff like that nowadays. That's old no. fashioned. No, no, no you very old fashioned, don't man. tick or chime. Oh, Tally wow. girl, my three painting for the cultivate homes for our troops auction and fundraiser are finished and set up in the gallery. I will get more info to you all if John doesn't post it in the art section as soon as I get it. So here we have uh, a woman who's standing in front of these gigantic twenty foot tall paintings that she's made of a woman holding an American flag, a woman dancing on Jupiter, and a woman maybe turning into radiation waves yeah. or something. Um, and they're beautiful. And they're yeah. going to the troops. Uh, but Tally Girl says <laughs> right after that, now I am sitting in a bird cage watching a giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that is a scary and baby. She is that is a very sitting scary in a bird cage, and she's watching a giant baby. Well, if you can be, <laughs> if you can be small and gnome-like, can you also choose to become a, g- a humongous giant? This is a problem in Second Life. This is the number one thing people complain about is that height creep. People have gradually been making their avatars taller and taller. Well, people, where people will complain they have an original avatar from when they first logged in years ago. They join now, and it's like half the size of everybody else. Because everyone keeps making their things bigger and bigger. It's wow. been an issue. It's inf- it's inflation or deflation or something, but with height. It's something flation. It's something flation. Uh, and this is my last one. This is from Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> 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 and he says, dying inside. And it's a picture of Napoleon Bonaparte who looks like he is having some kind of a rough shot mental or something. Anguish. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, and he's dying inside. That well, is incredible. Me and Patrick are on a horse together. Yeah. Have you look guys seen my new avatar? Yeah. Yeah, you he look He looks amazing. very, very cool. I'm not going to lie. He looks cool. I wish I knew how to change my avatar. Yeah. Um, all right. So, hold on. Let me start sharing my screen real quick. Um, so, I got very interested in the uh, the political inner workings of Second Life. I wanted to know what, what uh, everyone in this on this website, where they lean, you know? I was starting to look for stuff. 
And I saw this post from 2012. Ron Paul for president, posted by Johan Ru. I am not U.S., but if I was, I would vote for him. How many here agree? And Medhu Simoni, a bento guru, said, bump to, I am a big Ron Paul fan, heart emoji. Now, look at this photo of ben Hu, or Medhu Simoni. Okay. Kind of scary. Doesn't, but does it look familiar to you? Uh, no. Who does no. that look like? Jubia. You guys, I think <laughs> that this is an alias. An alien? For Ron DeSantis. Oh my God, the overlay. Look, look at how this lines Holy up. Holy shit. I think that wow. this is Ron DeSantis in Second Life. It looks almost exactly like him. Isn't this fucking crazy? This is pretty crazy. Wait, but yeah. this is this is claiming he was not in the U.S. Now we have all. Three well, no, of us no, no. Horse. That was Johan Ru. That Johan Ru was not in the U.S. Oh, okay. This is Medhu Simoni, which I think if you jumble those letters around, it may spell Ron DeSantis. Is that uh, true? Th- yeah, if you jumble them and turn them into different letters, it'll be Ron DeSantis. It's the same <laughs> amount of characters. Uh, this next one. Uh, politically neutral alternatives to Black Lives Matter. I want to support racial equality, reduce instances of racial prejudice, and generally live in a more accepting society, safe, inclusive world for everybody. So I should support BLM, right? Well, I don't think so. BLM is a registered organization that openly described themselves as subscribing to many elements of Marxism. And I didn't read the whole thread but here's a here's a uh, a moderator saying this topic may this topic seem to have gotten off topic, so we're going to lock it. Please remember in the future to treat others with respect and follow our community standards when posting and replying on the forums. Damn, Can so I throw something in here? Well. Mm-hmm. I yeah. noticed a lot of locked threads, and something I noticed is every single moderator and admin on the forum <laughs> all have the name like first name Linden. Yeah, Linden is, the, means like uh, well, the creator was named like something Linden. I know, so that's what all the all the mods and you have, you have to join the the Linden family to yeah. become a mod. It's a family affair. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a mafia. It's a family business. Uh, this next one, looking for a mesh Donald Trump avatar, and Love Zhao Ying says if a jelly doll could wear an orange <laughs> Cheeto, that would come close. Uh, I think that John Oliver already said something like this. Yeah, I think that they're just. I think he already Oliver called Donald here. Trump a jelly doll. Yeah, a jelly doll wearing an orange Cheeto. Donald Trump, you are a- Donald Trump is a jelly doll wearing an orange <laughs> Cheeto. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, and that that post was by Vanity Fair, so I think that there is a. Uh, I think Vanity Fair was planning something here. And they were going to plan a smear campaign against 45. Uh, this next one, uh, Pedo Hunter. So sick of child avatars in adult zone skyboxes with kitty stuff in, thinking of setting myself up as a pedo hunter and effectively <laughs> just hunt them out. Before anyone starts, I'm not after your kid RP. As far as I'm concerned, your weird hobby is your, is your own, so long as it's not stripping down and getting intimate. And Rhonda Huntress said, taking the express train to Bansville, eh? Good luck. <laughs> then Sayo Emerald said, have fun in your vicious circle of frustration. <laughs> Which then Sp- Sparky Linden said, Sparky mm, Linden. <laughs> this looks very similar to a thread that Tommy Linden just closed recently. And given the inappropriate nature of the title and the content of the thread, we're going to go ahead and lock the thread this time. So if you try to become a pedo hunter in Second Life, it goes against some community guideline or something. Uh, Amber Frost. (laughs) 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 Created by user John Porca. They said, do you think Amber Frost will start the socialist revolution in America? I have been watching close on YouTube and she's and see him. She is turning everyone against Trump and is making one hundred thousand dollars a month from her podcast to which Cindy Evanier said religion and politics. Two subjects we have been told are best kept off the SL forums, which got 11 hearts and three rewards. 
She oh got three awards, God. I mean. That is crazy. Wow. Yeah. You can't talk about, if you want to talk about Amber Frost or Chapo or any kind of left-leaning political stuff, you will be banned from the forums. Or the, the, I think this like thing was uh, closed. Oh, and this next one, uh, so then I stopped getting political and I started looking at the adult side of it. And uh, this is from Zappa Olchawi. They said, <laughs> recommendations for penises. And their post said, Hello, everyone. Sorry for what must be a frequent question, but I am a newly I am newly a premium member and I want to get a good bleep. Could you re- refer me to a good previous thread or make suggestions? I currently have a delight bleep, which is free, it comes with a HUD, but the HUD seems to let others interact with my bleep, but I cannot use it. I cannot cause it to be erect. For instance, could anyone recommend any very good penises that my avatar Zappa can make erect? I'm especially looking for animated penises and not just Zappa licks Zappa's bleep. Thanks. And then another person said diaper bondage and institutional role play. I am into the whole intimate must wear inmate must wear diaper and be restrained at all times thing. But unfortunately, many of the prisons on Second Life lack this. Furthermore, I enjoy uh, insane asylums and padded cells, but I cannot find many on Second Life. Does anyone know places that may cater to these kinds of interests? Also, finally, what are the more unique prisons? A lot of them are too similar, and I was just wondering if there are any that tr- truly stand out. So there are prisons in Second Life I where you can be become just like a yeah. sexual diaper prisoner. I mean, a padded cell is a big diaper yeah, it's one yeah. big diaper. That's true. That's why they call um, it a padded cell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this next one, Big Boobs from 99 Spooner. <laughs> Does anyone know a place to find busty girls to have sex with for free? Just wondering. And then here is an argument that I saw. So Leah36 said, me looks down. Um, Do I need implants? <laughs> and Charlie Muggins then said, given the way you express yourself... You're looking in the wrong direction. Damn. Then Madeline Madeline Blackbart said, "Wow, grammar Naziing again. What's with all the grammar Blackbart. Nazis? Or are you are you the same one from last time? You do realize that she's using sarcasm here. The needs implants is supposed to be parody. Wow, this guy's uh, white knight. Satire. Dude. You if you're gonna do satire, you better make sure it's distinct from what you're parodying." Uh-huh. Yeah, or else you might contribute to the issue. How sad yeah, is it 36. That, that the virus of white knighting has even gotten to Second Life? Oh yeah, <laughs> this is sad as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's this next one here? Oh, porn films in Second Life. Uh, so you you talked about that. Uh, what's her name? Something Takeda. Uh, she <laughs> said. Uh, this is by by. <laughs> Jamie Miller, shout out to the podcast Sleezoids. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie Miller from Sleezoids asks, well, yeah, I mean, that's a film podcast. They just want to see yeah, yeah. different <laughs> kinds of movies. Uh, I they see, said, Jamie, you tried, to, you tried to spell your name a little different here, <laughs> but we're on to you. We got you. I was curious if there is such thing as SL porn films. I've been approached several t- several times to do porn with the promise that it pays very well. I'm a bit naive with this, so any help would be appreciated. And Tamara Artist said, I have two friends from SL porn industry. Here's a video that one of them made, which then redirected to SL porn tube, which you guys, there is a whole, there was, it's I'm gone now, right now, but I, oh. I was able to find Damn. on the Wayback Machine. SL porn tube. <laughs> Oh which has the, the, banner. <laughs> the banner for Don Reginaldo, which is the Second Life cigar brand. And there is uh, the, on the side here, you can see these are uh, oh all the, uh, the the most popular categories, uh, which includes Pocky Bracco, Vlad Sharktooth, Demonic Foursome, Sex Cat, Anal Brows, Stranger, Kiss Vaginal Anal, Pretty Hyannis Cop. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia music video, Alex Komarov, e boobs, plus none, pantyhose, viola, tentacles, sex, Natalie Zenga, Res Day, Naughty Girls, Mr. V, Sex Studio, DP, Rectal Revenge, Hell Kitchen, <laughs> Miss Emily, sixty three, and Seduction. Rectal and there were revenge. such. These are these are three of the best video titles that I saw on this website. Number one being Extreme Bitch. <laughs> Yep. Number two, DJ got us fucking. 
And number three, Titanic 100th anniversary. <laughs> Which I wish I could have watched all these. I want to see what. Shit. I want to see a tragic what, loss. I want to see what Titanic 100th anniversary is. I want to see this touching tribute. They to probably the fucking fucking on the boat, or maybe it's the boat fucking the iceberg, man. Yeah, yeah maybe. Man. Well, that's the it's end like of the my Library of Alexandria. Lost. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm sure that they're all uploaded somewhere else. Oh my guys, god, we're all on the horse together now. I have only one thing to say to you. Please get your ass in this world because it's popping off mm-hmm. in this bitch. Is Leave the old world way? behind. The, the the war, the disease. There's none of that here. There's vampires and people who dress up like kids. This is where you need to be, guys. This is the ultimate youth group. Get here right now. Is there any way? We're flying around on a horse, motherfucker. Bodies. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Is there any way that we can make our own second life world? I'm sure this would cost a lot of money. It would be millions of Lindens. Would, yeah, yeah, it would be a lot. But of, that's well, not a problem for that? us. Yeah. What so, an ex- I'm ready to spend my entire life in here. I do love it. We're going to ride off into the sunset. Oh, my God. We just got Guys, stuck on a billboard. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy has just premiered. Oh, my fucking God. We have to go to the movies right now. Um, all right. All right. So come well, see I, us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? What are you gonna say? Well, no. You do that first. Okay. Come see us at World's Biggest Army, uh, or we're under World's Biggest Mummy on October twentieth at Littlefield in Brooklyn. Tickets at swagpoop.com/shows. Then you can see me at uh, opening for Girl God in Chicago on November fifth. And then uh, I don't know. I'm on some. I'm on a show tonight. Uh, secret third thing at Rubelod, and then tomorrow I'm also on another show at Union Hall. That's my plug. Nice. Um, go ahead and and if you head over to the Patreon too, Patreon.com/slash/podcast-about-list, you could subscribe to get extra episodes every week and and D and D as well and more stuff. And basically um, beers and we drink as well. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. no, I'm not sure that's on there anymore. I heard that on, that was uh, ended it's uh, on there. like a few weeks ago. No, it's actually it's um, on there. <clears throat> and then also one week from today, the battle of the century. Oh, yes. Be here, YouTube. It's going to blow your fucking mind. Julio will put the teaser that I made right now. On Halloween night, you think, I'm going to dress up as a real, actual lifestyle of a person. Yeah. I'm going to make someone's culture my costume. That's like me. That's like me dressing up like a... a My word. (laughs) Good heavens. What would that be? (laughs) I got to start start saying my word again. Yeah. I think that I need to start scoffing and saying my word. I say my word sometimes, I think. Oh, he gads. Yeah. Egads is not as good as my Zoons. words. Zunes? Yeah. You mean Zooks? No, I mean you're thinking of Gadzooks. Yeah. I'm saying Zunes. That's Shakespearean. Zunes? It's so you know Z U N E Z O U N D S. Uh huh. Zunes. I was like Zounds, and then Zunes would be well, tunes Zunes. to sounds. Zunes is short for God's wounds. Yeah, that'd, that'd be like me dressing up like an emo. You took that long to think of that. <laughs> it didn't feel. It wasn't out. It's pretty long. And that'd be like um, me dressing up like an emo or a cinephile. You're dressed like a cinephile right now, a child <laughs> cinephile. Okay. I've just seen the new Winnie the Pooh movie. <laughs> I've just seen in the theater. <laughs> rocking up to every single Shut one up. of the kids. <laughs> Standing up at the yeah. end of, of Cars 4. Bravo! <laughs> there's, there's a report that the, like car, the Cars 4 premiere got a 10-minute standing ovation from one guy. <laughs> one guy in like it's a fucking yeah, Illinois. Yeah, like it's a fucking con <laughs> premiere. <laughs> it's just 
just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's like yeah. in a movie theater in fucking <laughs> the Illinois. The first showing in Illinois got yeah. a 45 minute standing ovation. They couldn't get the guy out of the theater. From a man named Bruce Meese. <laughs> Local film critic. Oh! <laughs>